Hello everyone, this is McNev and the Witch of Seacliff, and I came back to do a spell here, and it's a very earth-centered spell, so that means I'm going to use a lot of the colors of the earth, like green and browns, and I'm going to call upon spirit to help me. And number one thing that you have to remember with spirits is they appreciate if you invoke them, if you call upon them to give them an offering. So I give them a little bit of wine or bread and uh, some rosemary oil as a gesture of goodwill and for them to enjoy. Okay, so when I'm calling upon spirits, when I'm making a spell, first have to decide what kind of spell I'm going to do. And I have an idea for one, and it's a little, um, it's great for spring. I'm going to do a spell in a little pot. And I figured most people would like money or prosperity. So it's a little money pot or an abundance. You can grow an abundance of, I wrote here, health, um, joy, and prosperity. It can be a combination of things, or it can be one specific thing. And I put a little bit of soil in the bottom of it. And I also ground up herbs. I'm going to make it a money spell, so I'm going to do a prosperity spell. So I ground up herbs in a jar. I put them in the jar. And before you begin, you have to ground and center yourself and protect yourself. I usually cast a circle, but this is an example spell, so I won't cast a circle, but the sacred circle you would... Um, you know, invoke the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. You can do that. You can call down the elements to help you. And then you can call upon spirits to help you. And you can use the sacred circle and use salt and make a ring of salt around you to protect you and ask for divine protection. And guidance always. But anyway, this is a sample spell, an earth spell. And I'm going to use the pot, and I'm going to use this, um, I think it's a gladiola bulb that I had from last year. Doesn't matter, you could put any seed in the pot that you like. But I put a little bit of soil first, and then I'm going to take my herbs for prosperity that are already ground such as cinnamon <clears throat> for luck clove for protection rosemary for happiness and I actually put in some ginger ginger is good for money as well so you can just mix the herbs in the pot into the soil. And then you put your bulb in. This one is too big for this little pot, but it's just an example. And then I have some soil. And as you begin the spell, you begin your intentions. So you can... Um, you can take the spoon and move it around the soil in a clockwise direction and intend for prosperity, health, joy, whatever you desire. And put all of your intentions into the soil even before you put it in the pot. And of course I have a candle lit. I lit the candle beforehand, and I called upon a spirit, 
and I'm calling upon a spirit that is familiar to me that I know. Now, I'm not going to say the name of this spirit, but there's a spirit that helps me. And this spirit would like me to add rose to the mix. So I'm going to just add a few rose petals if I can get them out of the jar. So I have a few rose petals here. Oops. <clears throat> and I'm going to add them into the pot. And I'm going to add the soil, which I stirred already, with um, I used some crystals with it. So I have a grounding crystal. I have the spiritual crystal, the amethyst. And I have an accelerating crystal, which is selenite. And I can just put that next to the soil when I stir it. And I stir in my intentions for love or prosperity, abundance of good coming my way. Just turn the soil, the silver spoon, silver is very powerful, and take three teaspoons or half teaspoons. In this case, it's going to have to be a half teaspoon because it's a small pot. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little pinch more of the herbs and add it on top. And the other thing that you can do is make a sigil of your desire. I have a sigil here of your intentions and you can put that next to the pot. Anything else that you desire to have, add it to this pot and then put the final bit of soil on top. Okay, so now you have your soil and you can just tap it down a little bit. And I have this little altar made. Let me just get this candle out of the way. I have this altar made that has earth elements, it has pine cones, and it has pine tree, and wood, and leaves, and a, a green skull, <clears throat> and I'm going to put the pot in the middle of all this, and then I'm just going to take a bit of water. Now I have all the elements. We have, you can light incense. You can light incense for air or just the air itself. You have the soil and the plant, the, the bulb is earth. You have the candle that is fire and water. So I just watered. And then you call upon your spirit to help with the spell. And you cast the spell. And you can do it with your finger or you can do it with a wand. I have this wand here. And you can cast your intentions on the spell. And meditate all of your intentions into this pot, this plant of prosperity for yourself. When you feel the spell is cast, you will put this, you can put the whole tray by a window and incorporate into your spell that as the sun hits the soil and, and it will go down into the soil and into the bulb and it will grow. The bulb will bloom, grow, 
and your intentions of wealth, prosperity, health, joy will grow along with the pot. But you have to take care of it. You can't just leave it. And you have to thank your spirit, whoever you called upon, whether it's the great spirit of the universe, God, or uh, an ancestor. You know, give them an offering, give them thanks. And every day tend to this little pot. And you watch your money, your joy, your health manifest into being. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And I also have a class, an online class called Spell School, if you're interested, if you're a beginner at witchcraft, I will show you how to do witchcraft very easily, very creatively. And you can contact me at mcnevintarot at gmail.com. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.